Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I have an empties video for you and while I have a rather large bag here, it's not quite as much as you would think. I, I thought I had a lot more than I do. I've had much bigger empties before so hopefully it won't be too long of a video but there are some things here to talk about. I've changed things up this time and divided it up by category. For quite a while now for my empties, I've been doing it just randomly as I take things out of the bag. But this time around, I thought I would make it a little bit more organized for you and break things up by category. So let me know if you prefer to watch empties this way and I'll try to do them that way again in the future. But now let's just get into the empties. I'm going to start off with the random empties, so the things that didn't quite fit into other categories. And the first thing is a perfume sample. It's the Ralph Lauren Romance scent. And I do like this scent. I describe it as a very romantic scent. Hence romance, romantic, hello. But it's a nice scent. I would have to look up the notes for you. I'll try to link them with the product when I do my description box. But this also reminds me of days past because it was a very popular scent when I was in, say, high school. So I enjoy smelling it. Brings back memories. Probably not one that I would purchase the full size of myself, but one that I enjoyed using the sample of. Another random empty I have is the Shiseido Facial Cotton. I used up this whole package. It took quite a while for me to use it up, but now that I've tried them, it's tough to go back to those Target cotton rounds. I use those to remove nail polish and things like that, but as for the face, using toner or anything like that, I definitely prefer these ones. I've already repurchased them and will continue to repurchase them because they're really great. The final things for the random empties are nail polishes. Starting off with one from Revlon. This is their top speed fast dry nail enamel. Now these are quite old, so I don't know if they even make these lines anymore or these colors, but they've gone bad while the bottle isn't completely empty because I don't know that I could ever completely empty a nail polish. They have gone bad and the formula doesn't work in the way that it once did, so I'm getting rid of them. But this is the color 555 Orchid and it was a very nice shimmery purple color that I enjoyed wearing. And the other nail polish is from OPI and it's the color Waka Waka Yet I've never had a Muppet collection that I know of, so this must have been named for something else. But this was a more sort of burgundy, darker color that I enjoyed wearing in fall. But again, it's just gone bad, so it's time for it to go. Next up are a couple hair care products, the first being the Way Hair Care Wave Spray. So this is basically a sea salt spray that I would use when I was curling my hair and maybe my hair was a little bit too slippery. If it needed a little bit more stick to it, I would use this spray and it worked quite well. The other hair product is the Brio Geo Rosarco Milk reparative leave-in conditioning spray. So it's obviously a leave-in conditioner. Works really well at detangling, smells good. Briogeo, I believe is, yeah, no sulfates, no parabens, no silicones, no phthalates, no artificial colors, no DEA soin. I don't know what that is. But unless that's starting to be in another language, that could be. But Every Brio Geo product I've tried, which has only been about two or three, I've really liked. It's a little bit more of a pricey hair care brand, but this is one that I would consider purchasing when I need leave-in conditioner in the future. This next item probably should have gone in the random category, but it is something that I have in pretty much every empties, and that is a Bath & Body Works foaming hand soap. This is the Island Papaya scent, which I very much enjoyed using over the summer and is a scent that I would consider getting again in the future. It says tropical coconut. 
and you know I love coconut, fresh papaya and sugar cane. So plus it contains coconut oil. So I enjoyed this one, one I would consider getting again next summertime. Next is going to be a sort of makeup category. I say sort of because some of these things aren't exactly makeup, but this seems like the best place to put them. So the first couple products are lip balms, and that's why I say they could be makeup, but I could also consider them skincare. So the first is the Aquaphor Lip Protectant Plus Sunscreen Repairs and Protects for Severely Dry Lips. Also contains broad spectrum SPF 30. Says immediately soothes and helps heal severely dry lips. Fragrance free and paraben free. And this is one of the best lip products I've used. This and the Skin Fix one are the best things for moisturizing your lips in these dry winter months that a lot of us are heading into and it's a little bit of a thicker product. I think they have ones without SPF as well, some that may even come in a jar, but I do prefer products that don't come in a jar, but I definitely recommend Aquaphor lip products for anyone that's having dry lip issues. The other one is an EOS product or lip balm, and it's in their sweet mint scent or flavor, and I liked using this while I did, but EOS lip products are not my favorites, they, I just find other ones more moisturizing and I find them hard to keep sanitary, especially like around the edges and things. So I won't be running out to purchase another EOS lip product myself, but they do have lots of fun scents and flavors. The next product in makeup is a mascara and it's become one of my favorite drugstore mascaras and that's the Essence Lash Princess. Now there's a few different Essence Lash Princess mascaras. This is the only one I've tried. This is the False Lash Effect Mascara, so the green packaging. I think they have a pink and purple one as well. And I really enjoyed this one. It did a great job of making my lashes look long and separated. It's kind of weird because sometimes they would clump and sometimes I would have no issues with clumping. So I think it just depended on how I applied it. But it's a very affordable mascara, one that I recommend you check out if you haven't tried it and one that I will purchase again in the future. The next one is a setting spray and it's from e.l.f. and it's their Makeup Mist and Set. And it's not my favorite setting spray. I don't know that it gives the greatest results. While it is very affordable, it's just not one of my favorites and not one that I would run out to purchase again. The last makeup products are lip products and they're from the Milani Amore Metallic line. And I don't think it's exactly called this anymore. I think they have other metallic lip products, but maybe not these exact ones. And the only reason I'm getting rid of them is because they've gone bad. I liked how they worked. They were fun for a different metallic colorful look. I have the color Matte About You and Automatic Touch. This is Matte About You. This is Automatic Touch. But they've just gone bad, don't smell so great anymore, so it's time for them to go. Next up are some body care products, the first being a shave cream, the EOS Shave Cream in Pomegranate Raspberry. As I've said before in empties, this is my favorite shave cream to use. It's very moisturizing for your legs, has good scents. Uh, doesn't have that aerosol that some of the others have, and I just really like it. I currently have another one in a different scent and will continue to use it unless I find something better. This is a Zoella Beauty product. It's her Body Fondant Shimmer Balm, and so it's a body shimmer. Unfortunately, this product didn't really work for me, and I'm sorry to say that because I've loved every other Zoella Beauty product that I've tried. Maybe it's just because it's gotten old, but I found this product very hard to apply for a body shimmer. It's very solid, and I just found it very hard to work into the body to get any shimmer on it. So maybe I just don't know how to work with it properly, but it just didn't work for me, unfortunately. So it's time to get rid of it. The rest of the body products are lotions. The first being a Body Shop Body Butter, which you know I love, and this was in the Vineyard Peach scent, which was 
a very nice, fresh, clean, fruity scent for summer. So enjoyed using that. Another Body Shop lotion is the Body Shop Almond Hand Nail and Manicure Cream. And I love this product in terms of the formula. Very few things make my hands feel so soft and moisturized. I just don't love this Body Shop packaging as I've said with other lotions. This one I did a little bit better with, but sometimes if you're not careful, it can just not get everything out. And it's just not my favorite packaging of theirs. Then the last lotion is from Bath & Body Works. This I actually got for free with a coupon. And it was in their Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin scent. It's their Shea Butter Hand Cream. And I really like these sample sizes because, as you know, it can take a while to go through lotions and that sort of thing. It's nice to have the sample sizes in order to try out different scents and formulas, see if you like them. They're also a convenient size to throw in your purse. I did like this scent, especially for fall. It's a little bit stronger, so be prepared for that when you apply it because everyone around you will smell it, but it wasn't perfumey or anything like that, being the sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I enjoyed the scent. I would consider it again next fall and definitely will look into more of these small sized packages. And the last category for this empties is skincare, which is often the biggest category for my empties videos. But I'm curious to see how the length of this one compares to other empties because it seemed like I have less products, but I could be talking longer, so I'll be curious to see how long it ends up being when I'm finally done editing. But now on to the skincare items. The first being a sample size product I used up from Clinique. It's their Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. And I like this one in terms of it gives good hydration under the eyes. I don't have a lot of negatives about it. It just isn't a miracle product for me. It doesn't do unbelievable things for my under eyes. I mean, it does have a brightening effect, but there are just other eye creams that I prefer. But if I was to get more samples of this one, I would be happy to use them. Used up some e.l.f. makeup remover cleansing cloths. These are affordable ones that I don't mind using. They're not the easiest ones I've ever used, but for an affordable drugstore one, they work pretty well. Another sample skincare product from Biosance. This is their Squalane Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. I really liked using this product, really liked the way it felt, but because it was such a small sample, it was hard to see if it gave great results. I liked how my skin felt with it. I liked how my skin reacted to it, but without having the full size, which is quite expensive, it was tough to tell with this one. I used up a toner. This is the Lush Breath of Fresh Air Toner. And I basically use toner a lot of the times, like when I'm doing videos like today, and I'm trying to make sure that all that makeup is really removed. So it does take me a while to get through toner, but this was not my favorite. I do prefer the Body Shop toner over this one. There's nothing necessarily bad about it. I just prefer the Body Shop one over this one. I used up my face wash, which is the Cetaphil or Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. This is the one for normal to oily skin. I did purchase another Cetaphil cleanser, but it's one of the more moisturizing ones for winter because while this one works great, I needed something with a little bit more moisturization going into the cold winter months. This is a product from Rock or ROC. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to say it, but it's their Multi Correction 5 in 1 Restoring Night Cream. And especially for night products, I've really enjoyed this line. I'm currently using a different one that has retinol. I don't think this one has a retinol in it, but I definitely recommend this brand if you're looking for a good skincare brand that you can get at the drugstore that I would say is. Not affordable, but it's not expensive like some of them can be either, so it's kind of in the middle. But I liked this product. I don't really remember if it gave me significant results, which means it probably didn't because I tend to remember those products, but definitely look into this line and see if there's anything that might work for your skin type or your skincare needs. 
Now for the final product in the skincare category and the final product for this empties and it's a product from Drunk Elephant and it's their C Firma Day Serum and this lasted quite a long time. It's one fluid ounce of product. You know I love the Drunk Elephant packaging because it keeps everything contained and protected from lights and the air and it's easy to use just a pump like this. I did enjoy using this C serum. Evidently using vitamin C on your skin can be quite good for it. It's supposed to reverse a lot of those dark spots that you may have gotten throughout your lifetime. And while I liked this one, I'm currently using a different vitamin C product that I think I might like even better. So stay tuned for a favorites or an empties to learn more about that. But this is a good one if you're looking for one. I know I'm not a skincare expert or an ingredient expert, but I know that there are specific things you're supposed to look for to make sure that it is a good quality vitamin C product. A lot of people have done Drunk Elephant reviews and talked about that. There's one person I watch on YouTube, Stephanie Nicole, I believe is her name. I hope I'm not getting that wrong, but I'm gonna link her video down below where she talks about this product because she goes all into the science behind it and what ingredients to look for, so that might be helpful for you. I hope that you enjoyed this empties video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Also, leave me some of your favorite skincare products in the comments below because I would love to learn about new ones. I'm always looking to try new ones and I would love to hear your recommendations. Make sure that if you are not subscribed, you go and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you'll be notified every time that I upload a new video. This will ensure that when I put up my 12 days of Christmas videos and my vlogs, you will be notified and know that they have been posted. I hope that you're having a great day, a great week, a great month, whatever you're up to, make the most of it, enjoy it, and I'll see you soon. Bye.